Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for part two of how to make die cut stickers from scratch. So we've made our character lollipop. Um, I've sent it to Dropbox on my computer. So we're just gonna go on there onto Photoshop and do some editing before we cut it with the Cricut. So let's go onto the computer. So here we go on Photoshop. So we want to make a new file. And we want to make it 6.75 times 9.25 because that's the size of the Cricut. That's what it prints on. We want to make, make sure that it's inches. We want to make sure it's transparent. And I like to do CMKY, YK <laughs> color. Um, so there you go, that's that one. And then let's find our friend. He's in here. There he is. So let's open up here. And now what we want to do, we want to I'm gonna make another layer to so then make sure that I can move him. So we need to make him a little bit smaller. So let's do that. So I'm just basically doing it so I can have more than one sticker basically. I like to do it on Photoshop because I think it's clearer. Um, let's do a couple of these. Look how cute he is. It's very cute. And then what we'll do is we will save this and then we shall go onto the Cricut. There you go. Ah, oh, there you go, there he is. So if I just save that. Awesome. So that was all that we're gonna do on Photoshop. I'm just gonna go over to the Cricut windows now and we'll open this. And then we'll open a new project. And then we'll upload an image. I've actually already uploaded him. I did it earlier, but I'll show you how I did it. Let's just press upload image, browse, and then I basically found him on here. And then press open. Um, always make sure you um, export the best PNGs. Um, I'll show you why in a second. Um, and then always pr press complex, because I do a lot of shading, it's nice, nice to keep it on there. I thought he's really big there. Um, and this is why we want to do it on PNG, because if you don't, it has the background and it'll cut that out. So basically all this black here um, is basically where the cricket or the cricket <laughs> will cut. So if there's any, if you can see any squares inside that black image there, then it'll cut that out too. So you want to always make sure, that's why we did the white outline of the picture earlier. So I'm going to press save. And he should. Ta -da! There you go, and then you click on that one, and then we press insert, and then he'll go onto our page. So if you haven't used Cricut before, it's like so easy as well, it's just as easy as Procreate really. Um, there's just a few things to remember. So how I like to do it, so I know what size it is, because at the minute it's, it's quite small, but we won't know how many we can get onto a page. So I like to do a shape. Um, so click on shapes and go onto square. Then if you, if you go up to the top, there's this little section here that says size. So make sure you're clicked on the square. Um, look at size and there's a little padlock at the top. You unclick that and then change the width like we did before. So 6.75 times 9.25 and then press enter. So basically this square now is basically what the size of the, um, the, the Cricut will print because we're doing um, print and cut, which is what die stickers will be in this section. Um, then we need to, basically this is the set, this is the size that it will print. It does do other sizes, but just not for this setting basically. So we wanna make sure that we've got, we can just press copy and paste, and then just move him over. And paste him again, look how cute he is. There you go. Just move this over a little bit. And then I would always make sure that you take off the square. <laughs> always take off the square. Um, so let's click on to make it. And just make sure as well. Look, so this is the square, basically this is what, it will show you what it's gonna print. So the square on here, this black line, is basically what the cricket will see. So it will scan that and then it will, 
um, go inside there and cut around the little edges of those stickers. So make sure that it says pr um, print and cut there. Um, we don't want to mirror it, so don't press that. Let's press continue. My printer is already on. So let's turn on the Cricut. It's a little noisy, sorry. <laughs> so let's send it to printer first anyway. So here's my printer setting. So we always take off bleed. Never leave on bleed, guys. Um, and then always click um, use system dialog because then we can change some settings. Um, and then press print. So I would always, so every printer is different. My printer, my HP printer is, it doesn't have a lot of settings. So the best one I found with this um, paper that I use um, is photo paper. Let's show you the paper actually, that's a good idea. So I use glossy white um, from Evergreen Goods. It's the one I use, basically it's got like a yellow backing. I always make sure that the yellow side up when you go in the printer, that's just the way my printer is. So just make sure that your printer, just do some trial and errors, that's basically what I did. Um, so let's print that and see how it goes. My printer is very slow, by the way, just to, just to help with that. <laughs> Still printing. Still printing. <laughs> right, guys. There you go. It's printed. I think I just pulled it out a bit too quickly actually because it's just smudged at the bottom there but it doesn't matter as long as it's got the um, clear black outline. So there it is there. Lovely, my little friend, he's so good. So now you need to get your Cricut pad and pull the plastic off. <laughs> Crazy. Um, and then put it in the top corner. Into, right into the corner, otherwise it won't. It's very sticky, by the way, this pen, so just be mindful. Um, just try and error, really. Um, just keep practicing. And then just obviously, because it's still wet, so I've got to be very careful. You could just let it dry, would be the logical approach. So just let you know as well, I have the Cricut Explore Air, um, saving up for the maker you can do a lot of different things with the maker which is quite cool so at the minute I just want to go back onto the back onto the screen um, just make sure it says printed so we've printed it um, set materials so you can actually set different materials on your Cricut um, with this with, to make die cuts I put it on light light card stock just make sure that's on there um, and the Cricut will now be flashing this little thing here, like you can see that the button looks like that, but it flashes on the thing. So you literally just pop it in the, pop it in here, and then press that button. Now it's done that, it says press to go. So now there's a little button flashing on the cricket, which looks like a little C with the little antennas. So I'll press that, and it will start scanning. And that should, in a second, I'll just check all the edges. So it's just finding where to cut, basically. And that's gonna cut it out.
and then you can press the little arrow button again and it should pop it out. So guys, look, this is what it looks like. It's all cut out, it doesn't really look like much yet. Let me just pull it off and I'll show you. This is how I get it off, it's really easy. You just take the corner and then just pull and it should. There you go. They just stay stuck to the pad. The pad's a little bit sticky. But look, we've just done die cut stickers. Pop this in the bin. And then I get my little Cricut spatula. Ooh. And then I peel them off. Um, carefully. Look guys, look at our little sticker, little lollipop. Ooh. Ooh. Be like he's yellow on that side. It's shiny. Let me just take a few more off and I'll show you. Yeah. I'll leave them on there for now. I'll take them off later. It takes a while. <laughs> so here we go. Here's our little... Look, guys! We've made die-cut stickers. Super easy. And I'm going to stick one on my journal on the back. So guys, that we've made die-cut stickers. Um, I do my own ones in my Etsy store. I put the... Um, link in the description below um, Hopefully you found this easy. I know I'm a bit of a rambler um, Let me know how you get on if you need any help. Let me know um, Press subscribe and like the video and follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll see you soon in the next video. Hopefully um, Take care guys. See you all soon. Bye